Do you, you want, want to turn, turn a simple photo into a cinematic 3D scene like this? Let me show you an easy and efficient way to recreate realistic environments right inside Blender. No complicated steps, just smart techniques. All right, start with a cool reference image, something with proper lighting and clear perspective. Use FSpy to match the camera perspective with the image. Align every line carefully. Hold Shift to zoom in for precision. These lines are actually the three axes, X, Y, and Z. Once it looks perfect, import it into Blender. Now let's begin the modeling. Add a plane, then increase its size and adjust it according to the image. Add a cube, adjust its position so that it matches the image perfectly. Then extrude it on the Z-axis to block out the main pillar. Now duplicate it and add it to the other side. Basically, we're just blocking out the main parts. Now duplicate it and add it to the other side. Once that's done, join everything, add material, and use the main image as a texture. Then unwrap the UVs. And this is how it looks. Now select one of the pillars and start fixing its UV. We'll add some edge loops, then select the front side and fix it. Next, select the other side and fix that too. To save some time, we'll just duplicate it and add it to the other side. Then align the top and bottom UVs as well. Let's add a little detail to it. Once that's done, let's move on to the next one and repeat the same process. All right, now we'll duplicate these two pillars and replace them with the other pillars. Once that's done, subdivide the floor and top plane. For more detail, let's add beams to the top so it looks better. Simply duplicate the pillar and use it as a top beam, then add an array modifier to it. Now let's move on to the plane. For the plane, we'll use a different texture. Simply duplicate the material, add the new image, and unwrap the UV. Then use hue saturation to make the texture a little darker. Repeat the same pattern for the top plane, but use a different texture. Again, adjust the hue saturation to make it a little darker. After that, adjust the size of the plane and extrude the sides so it looks better. Now let's fix the UV of all the sides, and then apply the Solidify modifier. Once modeling is done, add HDRI. I used a Clouds HDRI. 
Now let me show you how I added details to the textures. It might look confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. For a moment, ignore these few nodes. Let's bring them to the side. Here, I've grouped all the textures, but by pressing tab, let's open it. It's actually pretty easy. First, I have this basic noise setup. Then I have a basic texture. I later changed the floor texture, so that's why it looks different than before. I then used the same texture as a bump map. It might look weird, but it will make sense in the final result. After that, I used a basic concrete texture, which you can get from Polyhaven or Ambient CG. Then I used another basic noise setup for roughness. And this is how I got this detailed texture. Now let's go back to these textures. But before that, let's unhide the pillar so you'll get it better. Here's why I created this ambient occlusion. As you can see, it works as an alpha map for the corners, blending between this dirt texture and the main texture. I applied the same setup to the pillar as well. Hope you get it better now. For the top, there's nothing fancy, just a basic texture also used as a bump map. Once that was done, I created a simple wood mesh, used a burning wood image for the texture, and fixed its UV so it wouldn't look weird. I then used the main image as a mission and bump as well. And this is how the bonfire looks. Now let's start creating giant concrete pipes. That's easy, just add a cylinder, make it hollow, then extrude it on one side and use the solidify modifier. After that, add a concrete image and place it in your scene. This is how our scene looks with just HDRI. After that, I added a plane with pins at the corners, applied a cloth modifier, and added a wind object to give it some animation. I already baked the simulation, so let's remove the wind object. And this is how it moves. Then I added an old cloth image texture, also using it as a bump. Next, I added dirt mesh on the ground, some bricks and support sticks so it looks more detailed. Now let's add the characters. Then we'll hide the HDRI and this is how it looks. After that, enable the fog. I also added a sunlight which works as moonlight. Then I added a light to the bonfire and one to the top so it doesn't look boring. Now let's add fire. It's actually a fire video placed on a plane and I adjusted its size so it looks better from the camera angle. Once that's done, I added a very bright light in the background to make the background building more visible. After adding all that stuff, this is how it looks. Pretty great, right? Now one thing is left, the fog. To make the fog look better, I added a basic noise node setup and animated it so it doesn't look static. If you change the value, you'll notice the difference. And that's how you can build a cinematic, photo-based 3D scene from scratch, fast, clean, and detailed. If you'd like to explore this project or want more scenes like this, it's available right now on my Patreon. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what content you'd like to see next.